What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and less than a week after the release of iOS 9.1 to the public, Apple has officially pushed out iOS 9.2. Man, Apple is really on a roll. Update after update after update, you know, no rest. So in this latest update, there are a number of changes that I will be highlighting in this video. I wanted to show you everything that's new, how it is, how's the performance, and I wanted to address an issue that I've been personally experiencing on my 6S Plus, and that's a lag and stutter that the 6S doesn't have. So I wanted to take a look at 9.2, whether or not it fixes that. Basically give you the best idea about this new firmware, what it is and everything you need to know about it. And I just wanted to add that alongside 9.2, Apple did release a new beta of OS 10 El Capitan, making the version number OS 10.11.2. So man, you know, Apple's relentless with these updates. They just keep pushing them out, which wouldn't be such a bad thing, but you know, it's just bad for jailbreakers. And on this topic of jailbreaking, I'm getting off topic here. I just wanted to mention it's been made completely legal. No more exceptions. It's just completely legal to modify your device. And that's great news in general. So the DMCA Act has been updated, which is awesome. But anyways, so after updating 9.2, I got to tell you there are some key changes. But foremost, I wanted to say that storage wise, it went from 10.1 to 10.2 so point one was a return to me there is a new carrier uh, version as well so don't know how that affects the cellular performance but in general performance wise i wouldn't say there's much of a difference on the 6s but i wanted to actually talk to you guys about the performance in general on a 6s versus 6s plus so take a look at these animations since this is in 60 frames per second i wanted to show you guys how animations look on a 6s and then a 6s plus so if i actually go into the side apps switcher the animation is very smooth i mean it's just there it's very fluid now look at it on my uh, 6s plus running 9.1 there's a choppy stutter it's only visible in 60 frames per second and i'll show you a couple examples of this so this one's really really buttery smooth this one is choppy it's uh very choppy so and also same thing with 3d touch so look at how smooth this is just pops up no problem on the 6s plus there's a choppy delay, look at that. I mean, you can only see it because of the higher frames per second, but it's definitely there. And just to show you guys, these are both on 9.1, that uh, it's not just 9.2 that it's smoother on, but as you can see, if we jump into here, smooth popping into there and here, there's a, a stutter. Same thing with Safari, it's much smoother here choppy here. Now iOS 9.2 actually fixes this issue. So here I've got a 6S on 9.2 and let me show you it is indeed on 9.2. Just want to show you guys that that delay has been fixed. So now if I open up it's buttery smooth as well. So just like on uh, on the 6S. Also if I go into Safari it's almost as buttery smooth popping up 3D touch. Still a little bit of a stutter here between the 6S and 6S Plus. But the good news is that 9.2 fixes this difference between the 6S and 6S Plus. So I was pleasantly surprised to discover that. Now, new features. Let's talk about some new features. One of them, it's probably one of the biggest changes is in Safari, when you're using Safari from within a web application or within any other application, sometimes in Reddit, you'll use the in-app browser. And now whenever you click on uh, this guy right here, within an in-app browser, you'll get a request desktop site option or an option to remove an ad blocker from the page if you're using one. So I know that was previously available. It was only available in Safari, but now you can use that feature within an application that has a built-in browser. So just want to clarify that. Also, like Mac Rumors points out, there are some new extensions in uh, third-party sharing options in the Safari application. So now you have one password and there might be a couple other ones in there. There's also a new language in Siri. So if we go into languages, there is now an Arabic option, which was previously not available. And there's actually a lot of changes in the music application. You know, very, very minor stuff. but. I've actually got 9.1 on the right, 9.2 on the left, same music loaded on both of them. So take a look at the view over here. So on 9.2, the actual icons for recently added are smaller, and I don't like that. I prefer 9.1. I like the larger icons. I don't know why uh, they're smaller now, but they are. So it's a little bit different. And actually, the icons for when you have music on your phone, if I go into the artist, you'll see that the little phone icon on the top right is different. Instead of that little corner design, 
it's now just a little tiny icon with a little check mark. I'll try and zoom in on that. So just like that, you see the difference there? It's very, very minor, but that's also more apparent when you open up an entire artist or album. If the song is loaded on your device, you'll now get this icon right here. So it just looks a little bit different. Also in the music application, if we actually click on uh, the other settings over here, it's slightly different. It says remove from my music instead of delete and you get a little icon right there. So slightly reorganized, a little bit different inside the music application. So tiny little changes, and that's just about it. And lastly, something I noticed when either restoring your phone or restoring to a backup, you'll get a different animation for the loading. It starts from the middle and pushes out to the sides. Not sure if that's a feature or a bug. iOS 9.2 actually addresses some issues as well. A lot of bugs have been fixed. I mean, this is probably the firmware that the iPad Pro will ship with, so Apple Wants to make sure you know it's a ready fixed and a functioning firmware anyways i ran a geek bench before on 9.0.2 and this is what I got. So 2541 score after updating to 9.2, it went down. So it's a little bit disappointing to learn that, but 9.2 of course is a developer preview. It's not meant to be faster or replace a firmware just yet, but hopefully once uh, this firmware is completed, we'll see a bigger increase in the score, but that's a little disheartening to learn that 9.2 is slower. But so far I've noticed that the stutter is fixed on the 6S Plus. So there's no longer a difference between the 6S or at least it's not as apparent. But 9.2, small little update, you know, not much has changed, but there are some changes some nice little additions. Hopefully we'll get faster with time, but I will be doing a full speed test very soon. So stay tuned for that. If you guys want to install it, I'll have a link down below in the description. I just don't see why you would want to. There's really nothing necessary there that would cause me to want to update. But if you guys want that, that will be down below in the description. So thanks so much for watching iOS 9.2 coming very soon, probably within the next month in November, but stay tuned for any news and updates on it. Have a great day guys. Enjoy current firmware here on peace.